Hi, it's Tom here from Wavebox. I'm going to show you how to get set up and started with Wavebox and also some of the cool things that you can do with it. So first of all, we're going to get signed in. Um, I'm going to use my Google accounts here. Um, as you can see, I've already signed in before. Once that's done, it's going to take us through the setup wizard. So it's already pre-populated the email address that I have entered before, um, and we can add a label to it. Uh, we can use labels here to separate how um, different apps and collections of things kind of sit together. So this is my test account, so we're just going to call that test. Um, we can add another email address here, so we'll add our Wavebox account, um, and we'll keep that with our work label for now. Once we're done, we can hit next, um, and you can see we've got some suggested apps here. Now we can add more later, um, but for now we'll pick a few from here. So um, in our work account, we can add ClickUp, um, maybe we use WhatsApp as well. Um, in our test account, we've got um, a Slack, um, and we'll, we'll stick with that for now. So once we're done, we can press Next. Um, and now it's going to give us the option to add a few extensions. Now, we can always just add them from the Chrome Web Store later on, um, or we can pick from some of these suggested ones here. Um, for now, I'm just going to skip this. Um, and we can also pick a theme. Again, we can use the Chrome Web Store to um, add any theme from there, but we'll just stick with the default for now, and we'll finish up. Uh, we'll skip the tour, um, and here we have our apps that we've added. Um, so we've already got our um, the first email account that we added, um, and we've also got some other apps that got added with it. So we've got Google Drive, um, we've got Google uh, Contacts, and also Google Calendar. We've got our Slack, and we've got uh, the other ones that we added here. So one of the first things you'll notice is that our Gmail account here has an unread badge. Uh, so we've already signed in, um, and Wavebox is able to pull this information out and bring it to the forefront. And you can also see that in the address bar here, uh, menu bar here, we have an unread badge, and also in the dock we have one too. Um, you'll notice also some of these um, apps are greyed out, um, and the reason for that is, is that they're actually sleeping. And what a sleeping app does is it um, stops it running on your machine um, to save resources. But what Wavebox can do is, for example, continue to pull out the unread badges and the notifications. So it means that if you've got loads and loads of apps added, you're not kind of eating up all the resources on your machine and you can just kind of carry on with your day. As well as the badges here, um, we've also got Wavebox Mini, which gives us an overview of all the things that we've got. So like here we've got our um, Gmail account with some new stuff. We've also got like a unified list. Uh, we haven't had any notifications yet, but they'll appear here. So also on the side by here, we've got, you see we've got test, which we can collapse, and we've got work, which we can also collapse. Uh, one of the key things that Wavebox allows us to do is separate things um, into different cookie containers. Now these are actually like profiles, um, like you'd use in Chrome, and it means that you can have a completely different set of browsing kind of cookies and data and all of that. So for example, if I come here and go to sign into my other Gmail account, which is the Wavebox one I tried to add before. And it'll pre-fill a few things. I can just put my password in um, and then give it a few moments and it'll kind of like sign you in okay. And you can see it's already picked up the in-red badges and all of this stuff that the other account did. But these two are completely separate. So if, for example, you're using, um, you know, you're managing different clients or you've got different customers or, or whatever like that, it means that instead of using loads of Chrome profiles, you can kind of bring them all into one place in Wavebox, have them in the sidebar, stay up to date, and they all live nice and separate. Once you've kind of like got used to your existing setup, you can always add a new group, um, and a group can either just have a tab in it or an app. Um, so if we go to the App Store, there's loads of apps here. You can just kind of go through there, search for the ones you want, or if there's not one there, you can um, add it using the Add a New Website button. Um, well, the other thing you can do is you can just start with a tab um, and of course go to Wavebox and add that as your first tab. Looking forward to see how you use Wavebox.